It was wipe day. I had travelled through multiple fields gathering resources along my way until I came across a spot that would be perfect for this incredible base I was going to build. After placing down my starter, I wasted no time getting out and exploring my area. Twelve hours later and I was here ready to log off for the night, but this was a 1000 pop server. Surviving sundown wouldn't be easy. Regardless, I got some rest, ready for what chaos and adventure we could get up to in the morning, if I survived the night. No way. No way. We have survived. <laughs> Let's go. Let's see if anything has changed in the neighborhood. Damn. Those guys have, uh, <laughs> those guys have definitely been to work. I wonder if they're more than a duo now, who knows. Other than that, everything looks pretty similar. Oh, never mind. To my surprise, I had survived the night, but then again, I hadn't really annoyed too many groups around me yet. This new base had popped up near me and I would like you to keep it in the back of your minds. To begin my day, I decided to get some wood, allowing me to run my furnaces. This base would require a fair amount of metal, and we were only halfway done. We had a lot of grinding ahead of us. Okay, yeah, we need to get some scrap. We have 12. Let's go on a little component run. There's so many new bases by the road. That's going to make barrel farming so awkward now. There's one just behind this rock as well. Hold up. I see a barrel farmer. Oh my, okay. That's a bit... <laughs> Look at this guy, man. Oh shit. This is a huge blueprint if I can get it back. I had little blueprints on this server, so if I could make it home with this saw, my wipe would change instantly. Oh, I was a farmer. He had 800 cloth on him, this guy I just killed, I just saw. Okay. I think he was the only one. I oh, literally just had two nodes. Right, we got another blueprint saw, which is awesome. 800 cloth as well, huge. I headed straight back out, wanting to see how far my new neighbor had progressed. What I would find out, I wouldn't have imagined, and it could potentially slow down my own progression. seeing a military crate on the roof of Oxum's, but... Oh, dude, this, this place is giving me nightmares. Is this guy on his roof? I don't know. Damn, I don't know he could see me. 
That's my neighbour. And if I'm quick enough, I can catch him on the way home. Is he dead? Yes. I think he's had a backpack, but I don't care. Oh, he's on the roof already. Oh my god. This guy's really good at standing spray. That guy's... Hmm, yeah, I guess he's quite good. Yeah, he's, he has to be cheating, I think. This guy's cheating hard, I think. I had the feeling this guy was up to no good. Reporting him for potential cheats, I moved on with my wipe, trying my best to avoid him. I would soon be back to his base in the future to try and retrieve all I had lost. But like I said, we had a lot of grinding to do. I mean, the signs are all there. The cheater. Look at his base. That's the most cheater base I've ever seen. Nah, he, I don't think this guy's legit. I don't think so. And that car kill just then, what was that? It's like his bullets were just tracking me. I was crouched like behind the car and he still was hitting me. <laughs> I'm going to try and get it sorted out. If not, then we're just going to have to avoid this area at all costs. Oh my god. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got back one of the kits that I lost from that guy. Now oh, he's raiding me? What? Oh, wait, no, he just. Some guy just found a satchel in a box. <laughs> Cheers for that, mate. I think I'm going to be running around with the water pipe for a minute. Oh! What? What? No way! Following this death, I respawned to some great news, which now meant A, I had a raid target, and B, I could continue my wipe paranoia free. Oh. Kick banning. Yes. Yes. Let's go. I knew it, dude. I knew it. I'm jumping straight in that man's compound. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> Dude, look at this thing, man. This is the most cheater base I've ever seen. It's so cheatery. <laughs> this guy's building privilege was quite good, meaning I couldn't actually jump in. I would need a ladder, but that is a blueprint I didn't own. I would be back. Right now, I decided it was time to work on my base. So I need to get ladder hatches and stuff. I need to embrace this. Like, they're so... I need to compound as well. I need just... I just need scrap, to be honest. <laughs> what we're going to do here, though, is we're actually going to do a roof bunker. It is awesome. You can stash hidden loot up here overnight. No one will suspect a thing. Unless they see me transfer it, of course. But because each of the bunkers faces a garage door, there's actually like um, some builds here. that kind of make it quite hidden, so that'll be nice. Just want to do some simple... Pancake layer honeycomb. Place wall frames all of here for some stability. And now we can test out this bunker. So if you place a wall here, yeah, 21%, that's perfect. I think anything higher than 23% and it won't work. So obviously this will be upgraded, but I'm just going to show you at demonstration purposes. 
And the reason we have the wool frame here is so we could do that. And as you heard, the bunker is broken. That is wicked, actually. And all the pieces have just flown everywhere for some reason. Repeat that on all three sides. Hell yeah. And I know that actually makes me so door campable. However, a compound will, uh, will obviously fix that, that problem. And there we go. That is done and dusted. I think these are called Patrico Peaks. Or Patricio Peaks. I, I, I don't know, so don't laugh at me. But, oh, dude, look at the angles you can get on here. Super wicked, man. Because the fact is, and I know for a fact, they can barely see your head. That is disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. Oh, <laughs> I'm a big fan. Oh, they're HVing from the roof. Who are these freaks? I wonder if they're ever going to take the AK on ground. Just going to take a little bit of metal outside as well. Upgrade the floors. Like this. It's a big fight going on over there. I don't know... I don't know what's really going on. Okay. <laughs> Whatever's happening over there, I'm, uh, you know, I'm just going to go mind my business. Go hit a few nodes. Yeah. The server was still extremely popped, sitting at around 850 players. I needed to use my time wisely. So whilst my neighbours were in a big fight, I headed to get some farm, which would help me massively in completing the base later on. Look at that dude, mining outpost. Power right next to it. It's just... <laughs> it's genuinely easier to main launch site as a solo than it is to main mining outpost. <laughs> Not even kidding. That's the state of this game right now. <laughs> Yo, what's good, my man? I'm friendly. That was such a good run. With the area clear of cheaters, I felt free. Still needing lots of scrap to get the BPs I would need, I headed out to do so. Well, I would try. Oh, it's barrel farming time. Time to get some scrap. Does this guy have some scrap? Hey, you. <laughs> get back here. Do you have scrap for me? <laughs> Lol. Hey. Hey, mister. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's the uh Oxum's trio. Ash. And then that Chinese name was that duo. Lovely. Getting scrap out here is uh Yeah, it's kinda hard, actually. I'm having quite a difficult time. All I want is a little bit of scrap. Heading back out, I tried again. Oh my god. Give it a rest.
Oh, really? Okay, he'll be looking in that direction. I should be safe. Farm these barrels. I actually need to lock that box. I didn't realise that it's, it pokes through. Ah, oh, imagine a world where I could recycle. That would be so cool. That would be so epic. 94 scrap right now. I don't really know what I'm working towards. I think I'm working towards compound stuff. So the wool. Yeah, so the, so the wool, the barricade, ladder hatch for that gap. So, yeah, I'm going to still need quite a bit of scrap. That's 400, including the wool. And then 145 there, that's 545 scrap. Okay, I can do that, that's fine. Heading towards Arctic military base, I decided I was going to give it a go. It was in the middle of nowhere with only a few bases located near, so I tested my luck. I'm also taking research base, did he? Unless they're using a suppressor, it doesn't sound like they have a gun. I don't see or hear a thing. He may have died. I should probably take this. I don't know if I have enough ammo and stuff. Assuming the coast was clear, I moved in. Hoping that whoever was here before me had either left or been taken out by the scientists. Oh, there we go. Shooting at someone else now. Maybe I can sneak in on the backside. I don't know if I'm feeling safe. I don't think I am. Very, very paranoid. Cautiously moving from building to building, farming the barrels along the way, I still kept an eye out for anything strange. Maybe it was my lucky day and I had Arctic base all to myself. And to my surprise, although there were other signs of life, I left unscathed with my pockets full of components, scrap and high quality metal. This run was exactly what I needed, and I would definitely be back. All I had to do now was make it home. There's another one. Nah, I don't even care. You can have your Revy. I don't really... I don't care. I don't need it.
I have to cross the road. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yes. Oh. <laughs> that is a massive run. 88 HQM. <laughs> nice. I'm so happy about that. Let's go. I needed that so, so badly. You know what, I just completely forgot that the, the single door that matches this carriage door is actually in the shop. So I just bought it. Yeah. And look at that. Decaying? Decaying? What do you mean decaying? <laughs> I'm thinking metal barricade first, because it's the cheapest. Of course we need ladder as well still. Um, you know what, should we just do ladder? Because that means we can ladder into that guy's compound and check it out. I'm tempted. And we're gonna need ladder anyway for when we get ladder hatches. Oh, that is nice. Oh yes. Now having the ladder blueprint, I crafted a couple and headed over to my neighbor's base when the sun rose. Can buy expo ammo from his own shop and raid him with it. <laughs> there we go. That open. Oh, I should have bought another lap. I can get in. Oh, it's closed. He closed it. There's garage doors everywhere. There's one there. That's closed as well. Garage door here. Yeah, he's got garage doors everywhere, dude. Garage doors there as well. Of course I wanted to raid this guy, and what would make it even better was if I bought the explosive ammo from his own shop. I would do this later on though. I wasn't in any rush to raid just yet, so I added the external gatehouses to my base. That is really high up, but this is the gatehouse. Oh no! And the way this is connected to the base is actually pretty cool. Well, I say pretty cool, it's quite simple, but I just would never have thought to do it. Like that. And then we just honeycomb in that for maybe some potential shotgun traps in the future. But yeah, that is the gatehouses. We repeat that on the other two sides, which I might be able to do. This one's a bit awkward because of the terrain, but it works the same. Just means I won't have to half wall on the top. And it also means there's no like shotgun funnel, but I don't mind that. I don't even know if I'll need to use that at any point, the shotgun funnels. I really like the connection here to the base. I think it's it's quite cool. Definitely looks the part. I like it a lot. It's very simple. It's very, very simple as well. Oh, flippin' oh. What the heck? I 
think that's probably from the big base, right? I am f I am screwed. Okay. That was scary. to see how much it is to research a stone barricade because they are very useful. 20? I'm going to do that. We are so down bad for scrap though. Works a treat. Yeah, that's literally most of the farm in the area. Not a lot, but it's something. It was time to hit some barrels. My scrap situation was dire, and if I wanted a tier 3 and to research explosive ammo, I would need a lot more. What the flip? Where'd you come from? You know what I've just remembered? Is that I could probably do research base. Maybe. Maybe. And that is a incredible amount of scrap. If it's anything like the last run. Hey. Eh? the hook uh dude that must be research base loot actually no because there's loads of farm what am i on about it just says 19 pipes and 40 h uh, hqm despite this i still had intentions to do arctic research base again but this time things would be much different Yes. Perfect. Oh, I just been spotted. I know I have. I can't run. I'm camping in here. Oh no. Uh oh. Let's go.
Dude, I played that so sick in the building with the P2. Oh my god, that was so cool. That was so cool. I need to get home now, though. Oh, no, on the roof with the bolty. Get me out of there. Oh, I know what I could do. My getaway vehicle. No, it is so slow. I don't want to use it. It's so loud and slow. Oh, I'm so scared. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that was so sick. That was so sick. Not the scrap run we were looking for, but I mean, we profited three Thompsons. I can't complain at all. Oh. His gun just broke. It's like that, right? I think. Yes, it's like this. So as you can see, this kind of gives us cover. This is also like this here. So we can repeat that on all three sides. And yeah, it basically just gives us some some cover up on the roof and obviously for these bunkers here. I still need to call in that airdrop I have. I don't know. Oh, obviously I need compound. Hundred and thirty five scrap. Can I do anything here with this? I guess I could work my way down towards ladder hatch. Cool. Wait, no. Yeah, I like this better. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Nice. Now I'm gonna do what Indominus calls these little builds as raid base covers, which I find quite interesting. Oh, I see, okay. I mean, it kind of works. If someone was the raid base behind that, it gives you a nice little eek off. Yeah, why not? I mean, it looks cool. Yeah, I can see why they're called raid base covers. I mean, yeah, I guess they kind of work. Again, I suppose it just fills up the space and it kind of makes it awkward to shoot you. Yeah, they're quite cool. Nice. And to begin the external TCs, we need to place two squares coming off of each of these like this. So I'm just going to do that now. I don't think I want to start the external TCs just yet though. And let's upgrade this back. Woo. Because I had been farming a lot and making sure my furnaces were always running, I had enough metal to upgrade the most important parts of my base. After this and some small additions, I would then farm some basic scrap and try my luck down the local oxums. I still had my neighbour's base in the back of my mind and I would head over there soon to make an interesting discovery. Oh yeah. So cool your base, man. So beautiful base. Don't kill me.
Just allows you to jump up and crouch on them. Hell yeah, the base is looking epic, dude. With the compound and gatehouses, this thing's gonna look awesome. And I mean, it's already got a compliment, so yay. Yeah, those peaks in there are nasty. Obviously the twig won't be there, that's going to be really difficult to shoot from. Like if you're a raider or something, that's a really nice peak, I like that one a lot. I was eager to call in my airdrop, but for maximum security, I wanted a compound, so I farmed a bunch of wood. Of course, this was a max pop server, and I would get a couple of distractions. Oh shit. Oh my god, the wolf killed him. <laughs> oh guy. Some yep there. Someone just jumped, I knew I heard something. Crossbow. I feel like he has a shotgun or something. Yep, knew it. Just wanna farm. Just wanna farm some wood, that's all. I need one scrap for ladder hatch. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is learn this wool and we will begin the compound after we've built the other they're not really gatehouses yeah like i said they're like bedrooms or turret pods or something i suppose it doesn't really matter what what you use them for okay i'm going to complete one of the three external tcs which one do i want to do first maybe i suppose it doesn't really matter does it not realising how little materials I had, I could only complete one of my three externals. Unfortunately, the compound would have to come later.
Will I even have enough room because of the road? Yeah, I do. Awesome. And two half walls here because it's disconnectable. Okay, that should be good. There's a surprise, alright. Yeah, at least we've done one external. And I think that's the good one to get done first because of the roof campers. It's probably the one they can see the most. Right, let's craft a barricade. That might come in handy. Oh, I see his teammate. I threw so badly. Oh, so badly. <laughs> this gun is so bad. Tommy's got to be the worst gun out there. I have another SAR, right? Like, I have two. I can afford to take one out, I think. Oh. Uh, just saying, my neighbours are a four-man now, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, my neighbours are now a four. Ooh, yeah, my neighbours are now a four, man. I watched them run from the base. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Um, my neighbours, not the cheetah, but the AK roof campers were originally a duo. They were now a four, man. This meant I really needed to be careful when out exploring. I couldn't afford to get caught off guard by this group, especially as I was a solo. I still, of course, needed a farm, but this time I headed in the opposite direction. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore that team because, I don't know, I don't feel like fighting a four-man. There's a guy right there. No thanks, I have an inventory farm. And I'm going to do this one. This one's kind of scary because, like, they can see me very well. at me oh my god it wasn't okay
Okay, two external TCs done. One more to go, and then we can place down the compound, call in this airdrop, and just overall be so much safer. The base was coming along really nicely, and I couldn't wait to finish it. During the night time, I farmed some more wood, and then in the morning, farmed some more wood, and then hit a few more nodes. This is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. The components. The sun was setting, so I decided it would be the perfect time to organize my base because it definitely needed it. Okay, that took so long, it's not even funny. I'll give you guys a little tour. We've had to move two of the furnaces up here, which, you know, and it is what it is. We've just got the absolute, like, junk up here. Basically, we've got a lot of storage now on the second floor, which is nice. Obviously, a second bag, tier one. And then down here, we have, like, the buildable stuff. Food. Nothing. Another furnace. Our bed's now here, and then, yeah, it just looks so much cleaner. So much cleaner. And the connection's actually going to be a bit weird. Because I'm going to need to do this, I think. Yeah. Wait, no. Yeah, the connect. Ah, oh, it's not enough stability. It's a little bit more expensive, but I suppose it does the does the job. Yeah, cool. Oh yeah, dude, we got a compound. Looking good. Nice bro, this base is pretty much done besides obviously load of deployables, upgrades. This is sick. This thing is actually huge. I can't believe I've done this all as a solo. I think the cost was like 80k materials, which is... Which is crazy, to, to, to be fair. The base was more or less complete and I was so happy with it. I placed some deployables in my compound and then headed over to the cheetah base to purchase some explosive ammo where I would make a very interesting discovery. Ooh, 7 HP. Hello sir, I'd like to buy from your shop, thank you. Thing is, I'll just probably get that sulfur back. <laughs> So it's like three. Oh, he's... It's decaying. Wait. Oh, shh. Dude, I might not even have to raid this guy. Oh! No way! That's going to decay, like, very soon. I need to keep a close eye on this. That's right, this base was going to decay very, very soon, meaning I wouldn't even have to raid it. I grabbed the gun from my base to defend myself, as I knew I wouldn't be the only person interested in these goodies. No. No. 1,000 wood. Oh, I can't get in. There we go. Yep. <laughs> There's some of my stuff. This is going to be loaded. So loaded. Oh no, he saw me. There's multiple people outside. Well, I got back everything I lost from this guy. 
My P2. Probably one of my SARS. I'm not sure if this is the Tommy I had. Maybe it was. Oh my god, bro. What am I looking at? <laughs> oh my. I just need to hope that I'm still not getting camped, which I might be. I am. Yep. Oh my gosh, bro. That's a different guy. What do these guys want? Oh my. This is so awkward. There's so many. So many. I might need to just throw so many satchels just to hopefully get some people to come. I'm going to do that. It's the only way that I'm going to... I don't know what else to do. I was surrounded. By throwing these satchels, I hoped it would draw people to the area, clearing out the compound campers. Oh, you can't shoot through that. Bro, there's so many. I don't know what to do. I have no heroes left. My kids are such rats. Oh, they got me, man. There's so many. No. Oh, my God. I needed that. This loot was destined to be mine. After all, most of it was originally from me in the first place. I needed to fight for this. Okay, I'm gaining kits. This is good. It's not what I would have had, but I'm happy if I can keep doing this. Before I could go back, these guys had escaped the compound. I wasn't sure how many there were, but I was heavily outnumbered. I lost out on all of the loot I could have had. Luckily, I did get some kills for some extra weapons, so it wasn't all too bad. It was at this point I called in my airdrop, which I completely forgot about. I was out looking for opportunities to grub and when I got home, I needed to clear out any threats trying to take my airdrop loot. Oh, and my airdrop. Wait. No. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're joking. Wait, did it go in the compound? That's all I can hope for. Oh, I'm so stupid. How could I forget? It just go, it goes from bad to worse. It really go Oh, it's there. Oh. It doesn't go from bad to worse. This is fine. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I think he only has a P2.
Got my stuff back at least. Should be very good. I barely recycled this wipe and as you can imagine I had so many components. The sun had set so I ran over to power plant to get some scrap. I still needed some important blueprints for this wipe and future wipes. Oh my god, I have so much on me. And... Whilst upgrading my base, a massive raid on a nearby Zerg had started, so I went over to see if I could get my hands on anything. Oh yeah. I thought I saw a kid guy. Oh no I didn't, he just had a backpack on. Okay. Makes sense I guess. No! I needed his face mask, I didn't get it. 
That was the last time I went to the raid. Yes, I could have gotten more, but it was so, so late and I wanted to cap the night off with a lovely AK room. Oh my god, what the hell? What the flip? I haven't checked the backpack. I'm not going to until I'm at base. Oh my god, we made it. Oh! Let's see what was in... 25 items in the backpack. Mmm... I'm very interested to see what it was. Oh. Oh. What? Um. Uh. That. Guys, it's 2 a.m. Hence the kind of whisper. Oh my god! What just happened? Is my aim cone just... I, I don't even know. I don't want to talk about it. I killed him. And after this, I ended my wipe here. Unfortunately, I was to get offline raided, which was no surprise after stealing so many components. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little series of mine. And let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you all next Sunday.